Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fallout 4 tutorial guide. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the locations for the message in a bottle side quests. Now I actually randomly found one of these um, and decided to do a video on it after following it. So the first one is at the Crater House which is right near the town of Salem. This is the uh, big place where all the children and the Atom guys are with... Uh, gamma guns and this is the first one I actually found so if you head to the shoreline um, you will find randomly just here there is a little message in a bottle uh, this one is called trapped for days so if you go into your inventory and open that up there is a little note in there uh, and it actually says I've been trapped in this boat for days there was some kind of tidal wave that came from the west it flipped us over looks like I'm the only one that made it if you can consider my current situation making it I somehow still have air to breathe I, and then the note slightly cuts off but you can see that means the boat must still so basically there are six of these locations around the map all on the east shoreline uh, of Fallout 4 uh, and basically when you pick these messages in the bottles up they'll give you a little waypoint to follow so as you can see I'm going ahead to the waypoint right now uh, and what this is basically is uh, once you get to the marker all you've got to do is dive down to the very bottom of the bed and there will be some kind of location, some kind of wreckage or boat or, you know, something to pick up. Uh, and in all of these locations, there's a steamer trunk with some ammo, some good grenades, things like that, mines, some money uh, and weapons and all that. So this is just six great locations of where to get some loot. There is always pretty much a first aid kit around somewhere as well with some uh, stim packs and right away and just some generally good supplies. So like I said, that was location one and there were six of them around the map. So I really do recommend you guys actually going around and uh, finding all these and I will show you exactly where they are all now. So, location two is uh, situated at the castle. Uh, so go ahead and fast travel over to there. Here is the mini-map of the castle right now. Again, all of these locations will be on the east coast line, shoreline somewhere of uh, Fallout, obviously, because they need to be washed up onto the shoreline. But uh, the, at the castle, you're going to want to turn around and head back through the entrance of this place where you come through. It's one of the only places you can go through in a door in the castle. Head to the left hand side and uh, just scour the shoreline right here near this big rock uh, is your second message uh, in a bottle and this is called Predator Becomes Prey. So once again go ahead and pick that up and this one says John was pulled out to sea. The fish was huge. I told him not to tether the pole to himself but he wouldn't listen if only he hadn't put the keys in his pocket. So there you go that is the second note and once again that will now highlight a waypoint on the map that you can go ahead and uh, pick this thing up. Now, I really hate the fact that all these stupid blooming Minutemen quests keep uh, coming up and putting different markers on my map. I just want the ones for the message in the bottle, thank you. Anyway, this one's quite a long swim, but as you can see, I'm kind of like hugging the, uh, the line of the sea here so I can actually see what's coming up. But uh, this one's quite a long swim, but uh, as you can see, we're nearly there right now. So we'll go ahead, head to the uh, location in question, uh, and yeah, make sure you bring it lots of Radaway or uh, the Aqua Boy perk where you won't get radiation damage. But on this location, you can see the pole sticking out. Um, for, so once you're at the pole, you just want to dive down, and there's a little shipwreck right here. Uh, head into the uh, the main part of the actual boat and once again there is your steamer trunk as soon as you take all of that stuff it will complete the mission but make sure you pick up the first aid kit as well and uh, yeah there you go that is the second location uh, found at the castle now the third location I'm bringing you out here is just east of Poseidon Energy and the Peabody House and south of the uh, Slightly well, southwest of the wreck of the FMS Northern Star. There's Poseidon NG anyway, and uh, it's in an unmarked location, but you'll see this lighthouse right here. Um, and yeah, if you just turn to the right of this lighthouse, you'll see this little red thing here, um, and the bottle is just to the side of it right here. Now, this one is called Not Going Well, and it just simply says on it, I'm screwed. So, a uh, nice short one, that one. Now, for some reason, when I picked that one up, it didn't give me the waypoint, uh, or I didn't even go into the, my quest and try and check it. But basically, all I did right here was headed to the right of the lighthouse, in between the boat on the right-hand side and the left uh, little boys that float in the water. And I just swam out until I was pretty much directly level with uh, the end of the FMS Northern Star, just past the, uh, the actual 
uh, floating boy thing and then just dive down now uh, it took me a couple of seconds to find this thing but basically this one uh, is situated in a pipe you'll see this pipeline right here and there's actually a hatch for you to open so if you swim up to the hatch and actually open it you'll see it's right there on the map I know that's very faint but uh, open the hatch swim in and you'll find the first aid kit with some Carmex cycle and buff out and then the steamer trunk is sat right here near this uh, little um, dead body kind of thing Obviously I had to go up for some air then because I couldn't get in the hatch very easily. So we'll swim back down right now and uh, go in and actually pick up the uh, the loot for it. So uh, yeah, one, like I said, I'm not quite sure why the uh, the waypoint didn't come up for this one. But I still managed to complete the quest anyway by getting the contents. Uh, it's very easy to get lost in here so make sure you uh, actually remember where the pipe is. As you can see I was struggling a little bit with that. But anyway, as you can see I've completed the message in the bottle not going well. Uh, just by picking up all of the items uh, you can close this hatch as well but it will not uh, get rid of the water which is a bit of a shame because it would be a pretty cool place to just sit down here um, and uh, yeah just a little kind of underwater base but there is location number three anyway now on to the next location this one is uh, pretty much directly under the Pridwen and near the Boston Airport ruins um, so go ahead and head over there and just keep running along the shoreline to the southeast of it until you see this little platform over here with a fallen down tree. The uh, message in the bottle called Need a Hand will be sat right there for you. So this one says, I thought I ate a fish today. It didn't taste right. I then realised while writing this that I ate my own hand. I think I'm losing it. I too think you're losing it mate, yes for sure, that sounds uh, pretty nice really, but uh, yeah, go ahead and pick that one up, and that will once again give you a waypoint for you to go and get your uh, little stash, this one's quite a long swim as well, but just head over and just keep swimming all the way along until you uh, finally get to location, as you can see, uh, I can see what's underneath just by uh, going in between the water and the air right there, so uh, you can see right here, I just dive straight down, and now this one it looks like a, a massive plane wreck, um, so this one's quite long to actually get into and uh, you can drown very easily here but basically you want to make your way into uh, towards the cockpit of this place so I'm just going to be careful and go up for a little bit of air there head straight back down and then you're going to go to the front of the aeroplane and uh, up the stairs to the main part of the cockpit you're going to have to do this very quickly unless you've got like I said the aqua boy perk which leaves you uh, free to breathe underwater pretty easily but there's the first aid kit right there and then just to the left of it is the steamer trunk uh, so go ahead and pick all the decent loot up from there once again and then get the hell out of there as quickly as you can before you drown. So the next one's a pretty quick one really. We are up here at Markra Fish Packing, pretty much the very northeast uh, location you discover on the map. Just north of our very first location as well of the Crater House. So run around the right hand side of Macro Fish Packing uh, onto the coastline over all of these rocks. And we're going to be looking for a, uh, a boat with a, like a plastic pumpkin in it. Uh, there is the pumpkin just there and uh, just to the right of there you will see your next message in a bottle this one says come out to the coast we'll get together and have a few laughs now this one's pretty quick and easy really it's uh, only about 40 meters away so uh, you can see it's right there uh, on the map so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get to that one now and you've just got to simply dive down and uh, there's a little steamer trunk sat right here and uh, instead of a, uh, a stim pack kind of medical case as well there's like this uh, bath with a skeleton in kind of like a coffin uh, a bit of a teddy bear and uh, a gold lighter and things like that in it as well uh, some duct tape so go ahead and pick that one up and uh, that is just a very simple one really like I said it doesn't take too long to get to at all very quick uh, and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it I'm gonna steal the teddy bear though and now to our final location we are at the Nahant Oceanological Society which was right here on the map and for this one I really do recommend that you uh, invest in the Aqua Boy perk which is right here on the uh, skill chart it is water is your alloy and you no longer take radiation damage from swimming and you can breathe underwater it's definitely definitely a very handy one to have you don't have to go into the uh, second perk but uh, definitely get the first one so once you get to the Oceanological Society, I'll turn to the right and you're going to be looking for this small island right here on the map. Uh, head over to that and that is where your message will be. Now be very careful, there is a hell of a lot of Maya Lurks um, hanging around here. There's also a load of eggs that hatch when you go near them, so make sure you take them all out before actually doing anything. I actually did clear them uh, before doing this video. I went out there, found this location, 
went back, started the video and more spawned. But this one is called X Marks the Spot and as you can see it's right here in this little island. This one says I swear that treasure is real, they mentioned it on the television, I must paddle faster. And like I said, this one is uh, going to be quite a difficult one because uh, it's really, really deep in the water. So make sure you bring some kind of uh, water breathing perks with you. Like I said, if you get the Aqua Boy um, perk, that's a lot easier. But you can also eat some Milo cakes and things like that. There's a few things out there that actually allow you to breathe underwater for a lot longer. So go ahead and follow the waypoint all the way out. It's quite a long distance away as you can see this one. This is sped up very, very quickly and we're just swimming for absolutely miles here. But it's coming up now about 60 meters away. So we'll go ahead and head over there and uh, yeah basically when you get there same thing as you've done with all the others dive straight down I do recommend saving it right here right uh, for this one more than any of them because like I said it's so far down it's unreal but once you can get down there it's all the way at the very bottom just keep going it will get a bit lighter as you get down there and uh, eventually you will hit the bottom right here and uh, I actually get a little bit lost here and can't find my way I actually get um, distracted by this light over here as well so uh, you can see there's a load of pipelines there's kind of an underwater place here with loads of different things to look at but I, uh, I missed it there so I'm gonna head back up and uh, to the actual location in uh, that we need to be at uh, it's very easy to get lost and like you can see it's just takes absolutely ages to get to the very top so I would have probably drowned right there if I hadn't invested in that Aqua Boy perk. So let's head back to the marker right now. It's the best thing to do if you get lost. Just head to the marker and then just dive literally straight down. Uh, and eventually you'll hit the bottom and you'll see that there's uh, the place where you want to be. So here we are again. Attempt number two. And I can see it this time. It's this thing over here. Right down here is the steamer trunk. And it's just sat in a little boat. So go ahead and pick all of them up. There's also another little case to the side of it with things in there as well um, and once again another little dead body this poor guy obviously sunk and uh, yeah that is all there is to it really so there you go guys that is all the locations of uh, the message in a bottle secret little underwater loot stashes um, as part of a kind of side quest that you uh, you wouldn't really know about if you didn't discover uh, these bottles randomly about and who goes around the shore just looking for locations not a lot of people really but uh, yeah, there you go, that is it. And they're all pretty easy really, apart from this last one I'd say, that's definitely the hardest one. But uh, yeah, there you go guys, get yourself some awesome loot, or if you just want to um, go around and give yourself something extra to do, uh, it's definitely worth checking these out. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Like I said, that is all the message in a bottle locations for the secret loot stashes that are all located underwater. Thank you for watching everyone, really hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next one.